Now that Na'Vi Jr. have spotted some players early, they're happy to fall back into a more passive stance. Here comes that fight into short. Early frag fouled, and the smoke will keep them safe. And while with 50 seconds left on the clock, VP are going to have to start making moves here. Going to have to start seeing what they're capable oh. of. Got another smoke. Oh, and the shot straight through it. It's not easy to get those pistol headshots through the smoke, but Fears found one. The bomb has been dropped briefly. 35 seconds. Here comes a flash for Na'Vi Jr. This utility is on point right now. Oh, Fear. Going to find one, though. Oh. Bringing it back, bringing it back. That angle from Resalt, unfortunately, not going to pan out at all. Let me see. Going to hit another headshot. So cheerful. Last man standing for VP with 15 seconds left on the clock. I mean, the guy's just got to run in here and try and die at this point. There you go. Still gets a kill out of it, so 300 bucks in his pocket. He'll feel good about that, at least. Ogor is going to be able to spot him coming up long as well with that MP9. He is going to be lethal, close quarters action. And in the meantime, his teammates have given up a little bit of ground, but uh, that is a wide swing from an SE, and he's going to get overwhelmed. Nicely done here. Good trades coming in from VP, really pouring the pressure on. And Na'Vi going to get pinched. On care, finally converting, and a second headshot. So they do clean it up in the end. Flash. The Mongol. The Wish. 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 The The Wish. 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 The because of this, look at all the room that they have to work with here, VP. They have managed to almost make it all the way up to the cross. And there it is. Lomek just slowly working his way into position. Monzi not going to hit the shot. Neither does he get the foul. He doesn't get the follow-up either. Finally, he's going to be able to connect with one of them. Nice HE onto the bomb site. Going to catch that bomb planter. Take him down to 60 health. But it's still a man advantage now for VP on the bomb site. No molly for the site, and the nade won't finish the job, but the flick over certainly will. And he wants to see if he can get any more going. His teammates pushing alongside him with the rifle. They're looking to flush out these site players. Trade's already happening, but there's a flank. Cheerful missing his opportunity. He finally gets the shot, and Fear will also follow his teammates to an early grave. It's VP Prodigy finally on the board. Tough position for Navi, but... Uh... They go for the force buy, Ooh. it's Deagles, and there he is, Monasi with the uh, initial headshot with that scoot. He's just so active. He always wants to take that early fight for his team, gives them the advantage, and now looks back to short where he lands another tag. It's a team kill. Oh, it's an absolute disaster for VP Prodigy. They've lost three players without getting a single kill. Finally, they find one, but it may just be too late here. Fennec's finally going to be able to join the party here. That's the first kill of the half for him. Just hasn't really been seeing too much action, poor guy. But now he's able to chime in with that dig. And oh, nice shot from Lomek. Takes out on Karen. But it's still a 1v3 scenario here for Nadi Jr. And there's not, nowhere to go at that point. If you're Lomek, you're just stuck. Patience from VP. You can't get too flustered. It is dust two after all. I mean... You get a couple of rounds to break your way on that CT side, and all of a sudden that CT side starts looking Ooh. insane. Flick that flick. That is so fast. Oh. That one, a little bit more. I'm, I'm waiting for the re-peak, though. Yeah, just going to go ahead and take that. Easy peasy. 167, just saying. Yep. So, he's, uh, he's averaging over a kill per round, too. Which is, is so bonkers. Which is stupid. Yeah, no, he's a, he's an absolute savage. The runner up, oh my god, him is plus ninety for Regali on Fnatic Rising. So it really is just you know, Manessi just having a great time. 
Oh, Rootfire's having a decent time in this round. He's got the molly. He knows where this man is. Another shot lands. And it's back to the 1v1. Rootfire putting in the work to put himself in this position. The nade will land, but it's only the MP9 in hand. And Rootfire has the chance, but he misses. And he hits him with the no scope. Rootfire putting his hands up. Give him the high fives, boys. He deserves it. That is going to be it. Yep, again. And it's exactly what happened last time, although that time the bomb gets dropped and Pogo's here with the, Ada, with the AK. He could still find another one. Boom. There's the shutdown. They walk right into the worst part of the map, DP. And the, the nades weren't even that good for them. They've still got a chance here with 32 seconds left. That one kill keeps it somewhat close, but that bomb is well and truly towards that A side of the map. So they have to commit, and Rufire will do just that, winning the AWP fight, and now they've got a real chance at this. Oh, oh no! no way, Fear! Unbelievable! That's how it goes down! 45 seconds, throw that smoke. Like, yeah. no, it's just gonna be the flash? At 40 seconds, I mean, now it's just greed. Oh, they have two smokes and they're still holding on to them? All right, lads, now you're just playing greedy. Oh, it's working out okay, though. They're still forced to go through the smoke. Cynics did enough up close, and that was just so quick that we couldn't even keep track of all those kills. The jump. There's the bait, and Pogor gonna be able to make it around. No Molly to get him out of this position either. He just needs to show <laughs> Or go for a beautiful double spray. Okay, then let's calm, our, let's calm down, boys. Two on two. Can you get past the raid boss? We will get the run boost, and he's quick enough through. The bomb should be getting planted now. Oh, unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Well, oh, there's a gun for him. Resalt's got the early kill, and now Manessi has to try and plug this gap. Really capable, but he peeks into the corner. Lomic not going to miss that chance. Beautiful work there. And now this is going to be very difficult to hold. Fear would have to come up with a god tier play. But with the smokes going down, it's going to be very difficult for him to hit that timing. Onker's going to hit one. Onker is going to hit one. And Fear charging through, catches him lined up. It could not go worse for VP. No, the Glock. The Glock of mid absolutely fluffs it. If he has an AK, that's a kill every time. But now it's Lomic with the AWP who has to try the one on two. Onker close by. Here's the bomb plant and uses that time to sneak up towards the site. Lomic scopes in. They know exactly where he is and they've got him from both sides. Onker closes out the round. It's just heartbreaking for VP Prodigy though to pick up one of the guns that had been dropped. That's that's what's the most wild to me, because they got those early kills on long. You could go pit, mate. You could get an org, but apparently you just wanted the Glock, and sadly that did not work. That smoke has not worked, though, and that means Pogolov gets the chance for the early frags, flashed in for the first kill. Navi Jr. locked down long early in the last round of the half. And now... Fear, as the smoke is going to clear, eventually he's going to find Lomic. Lomic is going to peek in the mid. Yep, there's the spot. Oh, this is awkward. Nice little AP with Phil. He should get caught here in a moment. And sure enough, there's uh, Pogolo. Pogo, he's going to find two. And there's the third. 12-3 at the end of the half. And man, Navi just utterly dumpstering VP on this first half. Yeah, no, what's your cool last eight, Ribet? Zik. Zik, for the mass. Two, three. No, but I'm being led. Chris, I'm the most. Why? Need to turn around. Try. No, no, just. No, I'm not going to try. You have Chris, accurate. 100% Chris. No armor, I'm going to. Can you do it? 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 Они слышат, что мы дел. Вон то один за двойными. Да, я прошел. Может в дыму прям быть? Двойные. Да, 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 в дыму, в дыму где-то. Не понял где. В дыму, в дыму. Да пошел ты нахуй. Позиции говно, пацаны. Да? Already all the nades are gonna be going in full execute. Rolling onto the A site. Superior firepower here for Navi, especially if they move together as a group like this. 
spear. Yeah, taking point and immediately nicely done there by Resalt. Still able to get a kill out of that. That's pretty solid. But uh, yeah, flank gets annihilated, and this is just looking like a done deal for Navi. Excellent work on their part. 15 to 3, map point now for Navi. Just try a faster round, just to see what sort of resistance you get. Maybe you don't win it with the fast round, but maybe you find a weakness in the hold, and they're going for the mid play. Let's see it. Quick tech nines, and the double AWP happen to be waiting for him, but now can you recover this AWP? You can! Big damage getting thrown through here, and all of a sudden now things are going to get real interesting as they go charging through. Point blank shot from the AWP, gets the no scope. It's going to get traded, though. One for one. And that bomb is now dropped in the middle of nowhere. Impossible situation, although it is a 1v1 and it is Monzi alive. Deegan Hand inching around the corner looking for this angle. He hears it. Oh, the spam with the Deagle works out. Manessi closes it. And that bit of pace injected into the play is all Navi Jr. need to close out the first match. Well, it looks like we're live with a pistol around here, and we're going to be able to find out soon enough, as already Navi Jr. deciding to go for some aggression. Fear posted up top mid, looking for some shots, and already Cynix just doing work. Two kills for him. With 30 seconds left on the clock. Now, can they hit the shots? We're about to find out. Oh, it's a nice passive setup from Na'Vi Jr. Not giving away initial fights, just waiting for the push to the site itself. They have conceded the bomb plant, but Cynix is still sitting close by, waiting for his chance to pounce. Spots that first man out, a second flash comes through, and now Na'Vi Jr. will get onto the site itself, but they still need these kills onto the VP Prodigy players. Cheerful, quick kill onto the first man, makes it a second, and Cynix has to do it all. He has to hunt them down, but Cheerful, Cheerful says no. All three kills in the post plot, and a smile on his face as he gives his team the pistol. Давай. Я за кабиной буду майнсить. Не, Дань, забей хаешку. Лучше на стрик бусты. О, монстр выходит. Отдал хаема. Хорошо, разве? Два монстра. Два, отдал хаема. А банан близко. Боже, вай. Белый щас. Бомба, бомба. Еще один. Ухожу. Один на хорош. Ласт банан. Ласт банан. Я ушел, я ушел. И скучу ганы. Монстр. Да, бегу. Хорош, пацаны, на бабу, молодцы. Хорош, пожалуйста, да, да. Я не отпустил. Хай, ну хай, я сейчас. Хорош, что? I spotted on Karen Bank earlier, but now he repositions to the site itself, hoping that he can focus on one side while that Molly's up on long, and he is successful in that initial kill. Looks like Navi Jr. are content playing retake here as they almost get the chance for another frag, and they will find it, this time through the smoke. Oh, and still no bomb plant. What the? What? In what looked like such a promising start for Virtus Pro in this half, Na'Vi then just decided to take fights left and right, and they win them all. I was surprised we didn't get this bomb plant sooner. Once this man crosses to truck, I thought we would just see the bomb plant as soon as he got there. Oh, early spot. Interesting. Uncharacteristic misses coming in here from... Uh... Monsi, although he is going to find another one there. He's going to find his first kill of this map so far. But it's funny, you know, he's had, this is his first kill, he still has three assists. So he's, he's still been in the thick of things. Just not getting, uh, not getting the kills. Uh, this aggressive opping, he's got his, the help from his teammate as well. In connector, that's fear. He's going to be spotting them all out. Knows that close quarters, never mind. He takes the one kill, but oh, he's just going to kill everything. Quad kill. I was thinking, like, why, you know, 
just focus on the guy in restrooms because you've got fear to worry about the guy. Oh. Hey, but Monazi is just like, you know what? I'll just kill everybody and get the ace. That's fine. Wonka decides to take initiative towards short. Brewfire is up close. They spotted each other, but finally, Brewfire gets his chance to strike. Fear only able to get one from his position. So it's just the AWP remaining on this A-bomb site. But they don't want to go walking into this sniper and give away the free frag. So that gives time for the rotation. Not ready on that angle, though. Bloody K with the kill. Now they've got a chance to close the distance onto the site. And they're already here. This is the big thing. And Pogor, oh, Pogor has to win this duel, and he is going to get it. Half HP for Bloody K, and it's going to be a beautiful situation here as he does manage to get this bomb planted with nine seconds on the clock. Just not going to be able to win the duel. Backing off here, trying to make noise, trying to draw out VP, setting fear up for a kill at long. Yeah, the flash completely ineffective. Oh, and he gets both kills. Fantastic position there from fear. You want to throw that flash as far as you can in case there's that AWP holding far back. But by doing that, it is easier for the man up close to see it. So smart position from Fear there. Easily dodges that flash. And now, a little bit of somewhat scary position, but he hits the headshot, dodges the flash, makes it a second. All looking lovely in this round for Na'Vi Jr. Just two solid 2Ks. 1v4 would be the clutch of his career. Definitely do it though. Nice molly on uh, Cynics, but that gives away his position and now they can peek him together. Or Monazi can just pick him off from on high. As soon as he is out in the open, that is it. Done and dusted. To maybe blind that player, then if there was a player further away, it would maybe blind them very briefly, but it likely wouldn't flash them too much. In comes the active orping again. This second shot, but Fear has his back towards mid. Solid spray down, and the round is over in what? I, I don't even know how many seconds that was. 18? And Monacy just going right back, rinse and repeat. This time, at least he's a little bit more aware of uh, playground. It's just action all over the place, though. What the hell is going on over towards B? Oh, action on both sides of the map. Missed shot from the AWP, though. So no kills on the A side just yet. There is a man sneaking up long, though. This could be a difficult angle to deal with, but it works out nicely. Perfect timing on the AWP peak. So now you have two players here on the B side. Fear going for the jiggles. F close. What's going on here? This is all over the place. Oh, God. Oh, ow. That's a nice shot. Finally, something landing for Lomic. Can he do more, though? There are two separate angles to deal with. One man close on lane, one man further up, and the orc just continues to hold. If they're going to take over mid like this, they have to really just be worried about that AWP being around here. And, well, fear lurking, catches him lined up. force the team kill out of them and it's that same situation where vp prodigy go down early and they kind of feel like we, we need to try and get something back so they look for a kill on b that isn't coming for them this is a chance for a fair fight but it's an awkward angle to clear in comes the rifle on the ct side and <laughs> trying to push through monster result instantly decides better off that because there are three cts trying to push his position back a non-start to this round for VP Prodigy. Never got given a chance here. Uh, oh, ho, ho. Well, at least uh, Ree's going to be able to make it a little bit more interesting here with two kills, making it just a little bit more expensive for Navi. But it's still a 1v3 scenario. Bomb isn't picked up with 20 seconds left on the clock. I mean, at least if he can get away with this AK, that's something to hold on to for the next round. Oh, no. no. Oh, fear. No. Don't do it, fear. No. Do we get the knife? After time? Do we get oh, the knife? God. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude. That is so brutal. Don't. Just have to see. Earl. Wow, the aggression from Monsey. And that is the first time he peeked Khan and he gets the kill. 
He's just consistently so active in these early round scenarios. I'm enjoying it heavily. I love it when authors just try and take initiative, put their pressure on the server, and well, Fear also has been playing lights out himself. Finally gets traded, but Navi Jr. come away with an early man advantage. VP Prodigy looking for a way back in with this boost, but no fights given to them right now. And it's not pretty. It's not pretty hard. It's not pretty at all. Oh, there's the bait shot though, and then the tech nine. Of course, he's not gonna kill this guy for he, he is eventually going to go down, but he has done his job. Making it easier for Onkare on the site. Oop shot missed, and the rifle will finish the job. You take the information away from the CTs, you can start to play between the sites. But Navi Jr. have been so good on these aggressive angles, they don't care. They can just keep on holding, keep on fighting, and it's another round where the early kills come through. Mosk is still alive with fear between the two of them. What are they going to be able to do here? Oh, a little bit of a fight back coming in at the end from VP. They are not going out of this without a squabble, but... Uh... They haven't even got the bomb with them. So, Cynix is going to see that bomb shortly on the big flank. And then he's just going to say, okay, guys, I, I can just sit on the bomb. You guys make sure you hold your angles and we should be good to go. Cheerful will try and go back for that bomb now. But will he be ready for that man on the big flank? I'm not so sure. Oh. He tried. Dude, this is utter devastation. Four kills for Rufire. Let's see if Na'Vi can continue their success onto the second half with a listen in. Rush Super, I'll make a main sniper. Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 Yeah, can go on the other side. Yeah, can go on the other Bang, bang, super, super, super. Good stuff, good Surprise, surprise. Nope, never mind. Mons is too far. Yeah, it feels like these should be fights that you have a chance of winning, and it's just not happening for them. Free Soul is hoping that someone runs into him long run coming in here as they have to go back and pick up the bombs like oh man i thought we were just gonna kill everybody do we actually have to go and plant the bomb uh oh no oh you're <laughs> toying with them toying with them bloody k not far behind him so there will be three cts ready on a if this push were to come in they'd have a solid chance of locking it down oh my oh. god never mind Dude, <laughs> brutal. And he gets both. Third man on the A site, but they don't even need to rush this Navi. They've done the damage. Now it's gonna. Never mind. Uh, Monzi with an easy shot. And you're just thinking that there's gonna be a potentially a chance for uh, VP. Each chance they get though is just slipping through their fingers. 14 to four. Soon to be match point for Navi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but double digits for sure, Mari. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want Pimp to be wrong by his own, guys. I'm so nice. Sure. <laughs> well, match and match point for uh, Navi. Many of them. 30 seconds. Yeah, big one. Yeah, Lino, pedo. Three more seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, big one. 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 Yeah, big Надо зайти вместе, пацаны. Сейчас будет голову вырвать. Десять секунд. Он двойный голове, осторожно. Темная, темная. Темная. Какая темная? Карта.
Блять, с XM. Ну, ты понял. I want to see an animated Semler riding Anders into battle. That's what I want to see. I think, I think a lot of people would pay good money to see you riding Anders. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure that there's been some threads on Reddit in the past, bro, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're back to a 2v3. We got a bit too excited. This is doable. Yeah, it's still doable. Still doable. <laughs> Alright, still doable. Still match point for Navi Jr. But a nice off angle there, caught out. And that is going to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, now I'm just. I'm losing my mind. Alright. Cynics, 1v2. Very low health, though. <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> oh, there oh, yeah. There's already a picture of Putin riding a bear, Hawk. I don't know why you <laughs> want to be riding it. <laughs> Looks like they're going to actually get to fully execute from long here. Ooh. Oh, it's the re-aggression into bathrooms, though. They've cut down that side. And now they should be able to fully focus on long. First shot lands. Nice reply coming through. But there is a lot of work to do here to clear out these close angles. What a shot from Manessi. Now they have a chance to get onto the site. But the rotate has arrived. They have to fight all three players here. And it's only the rifle of Oncare left. Trying to wrap round. But there are two players waiting for him. And the double digits are confirmed. VP Prodigy giving us a game here. Double digits for Maui, and now all it takes is overtime for Pimp. But that was a freakish shot there. The second one from Ozzy is like, okay then. That was nuts. So Navi Jr. have a lot of the map to work with. They've left the bomb at spawn, suggesting a slower round, and they're looking for the pick, which they will find onto A. Oh no, it's, it's two. Oh, oh no. Is this it? Is this how it ends? Oh my god. Is this how it ends? Deagles. They let him get up to 10 rounds just so that Maui could be right. I don't know how much Maui paid for this, <laughs> but maybe it was worth it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to, you know, put it over Pimp that hard. <laughs> Phrasing. I'm sure he will be uh, <laughs> rubbing it in over on the desk. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Nice shot from Cheerful. It's not over yet. It's not over till it's over, but it's basically over at this point. Nice shot from Anessi. Who else to close it out but him? 16-10 in the end. Navi Jr. get the job done, even if it came a little closer at the end there.